Hey guys, J19 brought to another video, and today we're going to check out some more Monster Hunter Wilds, uh, Beginner's Guide to Monster Hunter Wilds, uh, feature Alma, your, uh, handler. She's going to teach us a few things about hunting, so I'm basically going to react to this, even though I do know how to play the game, uh, Monster Hunter, especially because of Monster Hunter World, but I figured, hey, you know what, I'll put this video up on my channel so you guys can see my reaction. I'm going to probably look, see if we can see any new, uh, cool environments, uh, see new moves. Uh, just take it all in, you know, just I'm at the point where I don't want to see too much more of the game But I figure for my subscribers for my viewership um, I'll have you guys look at this with me. So if you're Enjoying this video. Thank you like subscribe if you're new hit the bell notification if you want more monster in the wilds I will be streaming this game when it launches and with that said Let's jump right into it and not waste any more time and uh, I'm excited This is one of my most anticipated games of 2025 Welcome to the world of Monster Hunter Wilds. Together, wow. we will journey to the Forbidden Lands, uncharted territory that the Guild has begun investigating. It's looking the a lot Forbidden better. The Lands were believed to be uninhabited until just a few years ago, when a boy named Nata was found there and taken into Guild protection. Nata was all alone after escaping an attack on his village by a mysterious monster, and the Guild wow. has assembled an expedition to investigate. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. Our objective Let's is think. to investigate the monster, known as the Wood Wraith, and to rescue Nata's people, known as the Keepers. Wow. Uh, who am I, you ask? My name is Alma, and I'll be your guide on this journey. Are you ready to step into a world of adventure? Let's go! Expedition team. All right, cool. Each expedition unit consists of a hunter, handler, smithy, and palico. And it'll be all hands and paws on deck with each unit carrying out their own vital roles for the guild. Hunter! As our unit's hunter, you're sanctioned to bear weapons and Whoa, hunt Whoa, that's cool. And as your handler, it's my responsibility to manage your quests, authorize yeah. hunts, and ensure that you have all the information you need. Gemma, our smithy, will take monster materials you provide and forge equipment for you. Yeah, people, people are going nuts over that little flip there. And your palico is your trusty companion, there to lend support whenever needed. Yeah, this is my last game. We'll take it from here. Oh, world, that I is. I mentioned there's more than one unit. We belong to Avis unit. Okay. And we'll have the honor of teaming up with the other units, like Astrum unit, to see our mission through. The guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition, mine included. Cool. That's cool how that you can team up with our units now. Our initial foothold into the Forbidden Lands will be the Windward Plains. Due to its ever-changing weather, the plains will put both the wealth and the wrath of nature on full display. During the fallow, yeah, I can't wait. ravenous carnivores battle for every scrap of food, and a phenomenon known as the sand tide conjures thunder and lightning. After the storm comes the plenty, a time of abundant life and fertility. With every shift in the environment, the creatures of the plains change their behavior to adapt and survive. To succeed in our expedition, we'll have to be every bit as observant, versatile, and resourceful. Yeah, sorry, I'm not speaking much. I'm just taking all in. A rich, diverse ecosystem has arisen from the Whoa, look at those bugs. unique climate. Almost like Elder Rain bugs almost. The Doshagama, for example, Doshagama. centered around an alpha. Taking on multiple large monsters at once is a recipe for disaster. In order to face the alpha in a more ideal situation, it's wise to disperse the pack first. I do like this. I like this mechanic. Can't wait. In sandy areas, you'll encounter Balahara. Their flexible bodies allow them to maneuver freely in and out of the sand. They're capable of creating quicksand traps. Unfortunately, 
fortunate not just for hunters, but for any large monsters that get dragged into them. Oh yeah, yeah. You may also encounter Chattacabra. Toad -like Chattacabra. monsters that favor the more rocky areas of the plains. These monsters apply sticky saliva to their forelimbs and then fortify them with minerals. Ah, the so Chattacabra's cool. sizable tongue, while crucial to its survival, is also its biggest weakness. Don't miss your chance to attack when the tongue is exposed. Oh. Nature cool. has one rule. You're either the hunter or the hunted. That goes for monsters too, as they battle for supremacy. In the Windward Plains, one creature sits squarely at the top of the food chain. Ray Dow. Ray Dow. I keep forgetting this guy's name. The onset of the sand tide, Ray Dow has adapted to the relentless lightning storms and is able to use this adaptation to discharge devastating attacks to any that threaten its territory. He's so sick. I wonder what his armor is going to look like. I ask that you take extreme precaution. Ooh. At the damn epic endemic endemic yeah. While endemic out hunts, life. You might spot me. some small creatures at your feet. This is what I like about Monster Hunter as well. All of the endemic life you see has evolved to survive in this harsh environment. I cannot help but to be amazed by these creatures. The sheer will to survive, even in such an unforgiving environment. Oh, that's cool. Press on the backs of the, uh... Oh... I I'll get these names eventually. The Let's camp. talk about the expedition's base camp. This is the heart of operations, where you can do practically everything. Whether it's crafting weapons and armor, or resupplying provisions. One tool that's sure to come in handy out in the vast expanse of the plains is the pop-up camp. While limited in number, these provide a sort of home away from home while out in limited the field. Limited in number? Interesting. <sighs> pop-up camps serve as fast travel waypoints. A place to change your equipment. Love the menu. Love it. And an item I love stocking it. Point. See how useful they are? Better. Okay. Of Plus course, if stuff? a monster finds one of them, it might not last very long. We'll need to think carefully where exactly we set them up. In our travels, there's a chance we'll cross paths with the people of the Windward Plains. Her interactions uh, with this new culture could be what sustains uh, us on our quest. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't care about the food and An incredible adventure awaits with new monsters, new friendships, and awe inspiring vistas. The environments are so sick. Hunting bases, okay. See, it's stuff I already know, but I, almost forgot. I want to co you cover this in a video. Yet? Every hunter's journey begins with weapon selection. Would you rather get in close and unleash with all your might? Keep your distance and dish out a relentless assault? Deliver stinging blows as you stand your ground? Or strike with a flurry of slicing attacks? Fourteen weapon types are wow. available. Love the armor. One of them Love is the, the weapons uh, uh, design. If you're not sure what to pick, ask me. I can provide advice on which is the most suitable. So choices. So if is your first priority, then this weapon might be a good match. You can practice on a barrel, can't nice. Just rely on weapons. You'll need to make use of items like shock traps and throw barrel, a barrel bombs. bomb. Not to mention so any sick. endemic life and You can throw, you can throw those one bombs in the world, but you can't throw the big ones. But you can a wild. Take down your target. Yeah. One thing's for sure. Hunting is hungry work. With your portable barbecue grill, you'll be able to prepare meals on the go. Wow. And yes, that includes <laughs> meat. So tasty. Your palico <laughs> is a feline companion that provides various types of laugh. support out in the field. Whether it's laying traps to hinder monsters, or 
healing you when you've taken that is a one heck of a design of monster. Shout out to Capcom for the rooster lizard. The two of you or make a pretty uh, good team. Wyvern. You can always trust me to have your back. Oh, that reminds me. Be sure to keep an eye on your health gauge. It will start shaking to warn against any potentially life threatening attacks. Yep. There's no better way to traverse the Windward Plains than astride your sacred. Whether it's a target you're trying to reach, or just a point on the map, I love the UI, how simple it is. And take you there. Right? Not only can you gather and use items on the go, you can even perform mounted attacks. And if you find yourself in a tight situation, you can call your sacred. And it will be Which, again, it takes a few today. seconds. And Whether you cannot just attack just on your mount for the whole hunt. It's grounded hunting, useful. which I love. Multiplayer and support hunters? Okay. If you're struggling to face a monster alone, you'll be able to call for reinforcements. Fire an SOS flare, and up to three hunters will race to your side to assist with the hunt. Yeah. In multiplayer. You'll be connected online with a team of hunters from around the world. And it's crossplay. Ah, oh, thank you, Capcom. The hunting party. Or if you'd prefer to play offline, then NPC support hunters will come to your aid instead. That's great because not a lot of people have got great internet, so they can't stay connected. They can call on support hunters. And harvest materials from them. They did that with uh, Sunrise, uh, not Sunrise, Rise Use those with Sunbreak. to upgrade your weapons and wow. armor. And get out there and join the quest with your hunter friends. Your brand new life as a hunter is about to begin in Monster Hunter Wilds. Wow, that was a great presentation. That was a great presentation. I like that. It's to the point, basic, explain some stuff. February 28th, guys. I cannot wait for this. This is going to be an amazing game. So, yeah, if you have any questions about monster hunting, feel free to comment in the below. Comment in the comment section below, and I will be happy to, uh, yeah, I got the premium deluxe edition. So I get all, everything they show plus whatever. Um, and also this, is I got the Iceborne and save data for the world as well. But, yeah, this is, uh, let's go back to, uh, let's go back to, like, this screen right here. We'll pause it right here. Um, yeah, this is great. This is a great video. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord server. I do have a Monster Hunter Wilds uh, trending channel. We can talk more about that. Um, if you want to get into like, Monster Hunter World, uh, feel free to join Discord. And, and hey, if you want to party up, hunt on PC, I want to do that. I do have World and Iceborne on PlayStation as well. But I will be playing Wilds on PC. But, again, cross-play. This is exciting stuff. So if you have any questions about hunting, about Monster Hunter Wilds, um, feel free to let me know um, in the comment section below. I will reply back. I love doing that. Love communicating with you guys. So what I said, let me know in the comments below how hyped you are for Monster Hunter Wilds. If you would, please like, subscribe. If you guys are so hyped for Monster Hunter Wilds, you want you guys want more Wilds content on this channel. Because as I goes live on Twitch, I will be uploading this directly to YouTube after I am done streaming that night. So... You will get a part one, part two, part three, and so on and so forth. We will be doing some grinding streams as well. So I might not just do story, 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 story. Sometimes I need to grind some armor. I just want to explore and have some fun. So you guys look forward to that. Feel free to subscribe that to this channel. And then I'll let you guys know when I go live. And, uh, of course, Twitter. I'm always going to post, hey, I'm going live later on that, that night, yada, yada, yada. And then feel free to follow my Twitch. Um, it's in the description in the below with everything else. So feel free to show me some love and support. Love you guys so much. I'm so hyped for this game. So that said, I'll let you guys go. Have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. And I'll catch you all on the next video. Take care.